Hello! Thought I was going to go again, eh? But I'm back! And that's right, I am back again. Uh, for another video on this fine channel called Tunage, where the music never stops. Okie dokie. So, where was I for through well, five months? For the first two months, uh, I was busy. I, got, I had a lot of shows this summer with my band, Queen Street, so I lost track of time there. And then... In September, the middle of September, I started what was going to be my final portion of my schooling at Bishop's University. And that was my 13-week practicum. So, what is the 13-week practicum about? Well, I can tell you. It is basically 13 weeks where you go into the school and you work on becoming a teacher. Which means you work on your classroom management. You work on... Uh, teaching the kids, you work on planning, you work on millions of millions of things to do with teaching. And I was doing that from September 12th all the way to December 16th. So that was quite a bit. For, well, actually I did 14 weeks and, um, you know, I had to drive an hour away each day. So I was an hour there, an hour back. So I was leaving here at 7 and coming back at 5, 6. By the time I'd get home, I had no time to vi do videos. But I also had, you know, I had to correct stuff. I had to prepare things. It was a lot of work. And I'm happy it's done. But I'm happy I did it because it was so satisfying. It was so gratifying. And, uh, yeah. So this is a little video just explaining a bit of what I did in these 13 weeks or in the five months that I didn't upload anything. Um... So what I did was I was placed in a school called Massey Vanier in Cowansville. Now that's a town about an hour away from here, uh, about halfway to Montreal from the town I'm from. And basically I was stationed there with an associate teacher who basically he's my host and he's taken me in to, and he's basically there to guide me, to help me out, to uh, allow me to build my teaching abilities and build and give me tips and give me a bunch of pointers so I could see how he does it. And then he lets me take over the class and he's basically there to help me when I need help. And honestly, without his help, I don't think I would have succeeded as well as I did. It was honestly, uh, phew. Thank gosh for him, because it was, it was tough at points, and it was a lot of work. But, anyways, uh, it was a very, very uh, far drive every morning. And at the beginning, I was kind of like, wow, this is going to be a little while. Um, but, as the weeks went on, it got easier. So, what exactly was I doing? Well, I was teaching kids music. And, uh, since this is a music channel, why not talk about it, right? And what I was teaching them specifically was everything to do with basic theory. So, uh, you know, what is a staff? Obviously, they're in high school. So the level oneers, they're just coming out of little elementary school, so they don't know necessarily what is a staff. Some of them did, though. But, uh, you know, you got to go back to the basics. So basic theory, and then we want them to play as much as possible, right? So there's all kinds of instruments in this class. So obviously for the younger grades, I had to get them to learn how to A, read the notes, but also play an instrument. So we started on pianos for those guys. Whereas uh, the older ones, they already know how to play some instruments. Well, I had to learn how to conduct, which is, you know, conduct in a band, allowing them to play, teaching them how to play their instruments, teaching them notes, teaching them, giving them all the information and resources they need to be able to play a piece of music. And it's a lot more work than you might think. It's not just like, oh, I'll go on YouTube and then play it. We could do that, like I can do that as a musician because, you know, I've gained all this experience. But my teacher back in high school, he didn't say go watch on YouTube. No, he actually showed me how to play these things. So that's where it uh, is a big difference and a big challenge at, at first. Um, but as the time went on, I got more into it, I got more confidence, I was presenting history, I was presenting some knowledge of music, um, and it was just an overall really good time. So what I ended up doing was, we were working towards this main goal, which was play one song in the Winter Extravaganza. So what the Winter Extravaganza was, was it was all the drama students and all the music students combined into one show. Now, by doing this, I, uh, yeah, it, it, whew, it was quite the, quite the challenge, and me and, uh, my associate teacher, we were, we were moving at the end, we, we were pretty stressed out there, the last week was pretty, uh, pretty stressful, pretty crazy, but at the end, the show, 
everything went well. It was ooh, perfect. Perfect. I loved it. Um, obviously, there was a couple hiccups here and there, but I was so proud. And that's what made the whole 13 weeks worth it was that show. Because all my work put into it, so having all these students learn, each level learned a different song, each student learned an instrument, and each student maybe sang or followed along in a group. So right there, just playing a song together as a group is impressive. But then to do it on stage in front of the school and then in front of the parents later on, <laughs> wow. I was so proud of those dang kids, and um, it was awesome. And I was very, very happy to have had that experience. And, you know, now when I uh, go into my own school or I have my own music class, I'll be able to do that. And that was one of the most awesome parts of my time at Mass Avenue was just that winter extravaganza. And people loved it, and the kids loved it, and the kids had a gr great time. Some of them, you know, they're, they're, some of them are a little bit of a challenge to work with, and uh, some of them it takes them a little longer to learn. But everyone has their own learning cycle, and uh, it's it was just amazing to be able to find those learning cycles and get them to play. And yeah, it was awesome. So that's what it was. What, that's what I was doing basically was I was teaching kids how to play music, and. There's no greater feeling than teaching kids to play music because music is one of my favorite things in the world and if I get to pass on my favorite thing to some other kids and have them hopefully hopefully have that develop into their own personal favorite things, that's the goal. And it's a very gratifying job sometimes. Uh, seeing a kid succeed in something is awesome and there's no greater feeling than that. And that's why I mainly became a teacher was because I want to pass on my knowledge but also because I want these kids to love music as much as I do because the feeling I get with music is literally no other feeling in the world could take that from me. Love is pretty close but music is something about music. Anywho so that's where I was for three months um, out of the year and the other two months was prepping concerts I had a lot of band shows like I said earlier but yeah, that's where I was. I was at uh, a school doing my three week, at uh, three week, thirteen week practicum, and teaching kids music, and that was awesome. So, with that all being said, that's all. That's all I got to say. Thank you for watching today. This was just a little explanation video of where I was the last past, uh, the last past, the last, um, well, the past five months, and uh, yeah, I'm back. Like I said in all my videos so far, I'm back and I'm not going away. All right. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Hope I can give you a laugh once in a while. Hope I can inspire you to uh, do something you want to do in your life. Go out and get a degree. Go out and have fun. Go out and play music. Go do something you like to do because I like to play music. I like to talk about music. I like to teach music. And that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm following what I want to do. You follow what you want to do. Do something good with your life, and uh, do something you enjoy. Life's too short to not do things you enjoy. If you're going to do something you don't enjoy, then don't do it. Simple as that, because life's too short, man. That's been your boy. <laughs> ah, boy. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching today's video. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And um, leave a comment in below. What, did, what do you like to do in life? What, what is your hobby? What is your passion? Or just say, hey, I like the video. Keep going. <laughs> you don't have to. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to s subscribe, like, buttons down there somewhere. Like the video. Liking it gives it a good rating and it boosts it up a little bit. 
And uh, you know what? Keep on tuning into Tunage because the music never stops here, and neither will I. Peace. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day, and we'll see you very, very soon on another episode on this channel. Bye!